everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am here with a how to plan your fall wardrobe and my own personal wish list video. <laughs> this is something I've never done before, but um, in an effort to try and stay organized this season, fall, and just kind of keep coordinated, I have made my own little process on how to um, stay organized with what I want for my fall wardrobe and I did this in part because I'm really guilty of impulse shopping I think there's so much beauty out there there's so much like wonderful design um, and there's like great brands and so I just instead of being pulled in and pressured by like a sale that's going on in a weekend I really want to um, stay focused on what I want and um, make a visual representation of that so I can stay organized and stay focused on um, items that I really want, items that I would really love, items that work well together, and items that just make up a really good fall wardrobe. So I'm really excited to do this, um, and I just would love uh, to get started. So at the very end of this is my personal wish list. So I'm going to go through all the steps and explain how I like how I did things, and then at the very end, I'm going to show you personally what I had my eye on this season. So let's get started. The first thing is a little bit boring, but it is a way to stay organized and it is to clean out your own closet. So step in there, get a glass of wine and that'll help make the process easier because it's really easy to go in there with momentum and then stop halfway through because it is a chore. <laughs> um, I actually did a vlog on cleaning out my closet where I had kind of a chatty way of doing it and so I'll leave that up above but this really helped me just like get started. So I would clean out my summer clothes, I would make piles of donate and sell. I would bring up anything stored away that I wanted for fall and then store away anything that I wanted for summer. And then I would get everything repaired, like so I put buttons on, I can sew my own buttons back on things. I would get things dry cleaned, so I would just see everything that I had and that's way I can get started and see what I wanted to transition into the fall or what I just like, what I needed to fill holes with. Which brings us into step two, what do you need? So now that you can see everything that you have and realize what you're donating and giving away, what do you need that needs replacing? So for me, I have a dark pair of skinny jeans that I really love from Old Navy and I need a new pair because of changing so many diapers. I have a hole in the knee and I am not cool enough to pull off that distressed jean look. So that is something that is on my list to replace for you. It might be for work, like a new white shirt or some basic tops or consider your lifestyle. I am a stay-at-home mom, so um, a black pencil skirt isn't on my list, but casual long sleeve tops, like what I'm wearing, like what I have behind me is my best friend, something that's printed, something that is comfortable and easy to wear around children. And then consider um, any holes in your closet. So if you look at an item and you say, oh, I would love to wear this, but I need that. So if you go around and you find one common item um, that would just help pull everything together, uh, purchase that, put that on your list. So for me, it would be a dark pair of brown boots. For me, I have a brown purse and I would really like some brown boots with it. I'm not really one to go matchy-matchy, but I don't really like wearing black, um, ex mixing black and um, brown accessories, leather accessories. So that is something that is on my list and I will talk to you about which one is on my list at the very end of this video. And a hole for me is I have all these uh, beautiful maxi dresses from the summer and I would really love to extend their wear into the fall. I'm in Canada so I require some good knits and I need knits anyway because I didn't buy much last year because I couldn't find any ones that were good quality. So that is one of my goals for um, this year. So this moves on to style goals and trends to try and inspiration and just how you're feeling your wardrobe should be moving every year. I'm um, the type of person where I think that you should be dressing how you're feeling and you should be dressing where you are in life no matter where that is. I think that's important to express yourself that way. So for me, I'm really into um, romantic styles. There's this one beautiful Vogue photo shoot with um, long dresses and really nice layers and that is something that I would really love to do. Um, I have magazines as inspiration, I also use Pinterest, I have a Pinterest board with fall wish list with just fall looks that I really like. So if that is another route you would like to go, um, look on Pinterest, there's so many great um, ideas on there. So pin all of your favorite items, all the favorite outfits that call to you, that you feel um, attracted to, and then dissect the outfit and figure out what it is that makes that outfit successful, what it is that makes you attracted to that outfit and then put that item on your list. And I think it's important to consider trends. I think it's the easiest way to look current, to bring your basics, to bring your old wardrobe 
basically to like a modern day current state. So if you're wearing something really basic and classic like a black blazer, um, a nice blouse, some jeans, um, I think like something like leopard, which is a trend that's in and out, it's in this season. Um, I think that is an important way to bring your wardrobe to somewhere modern. Um, and then there's so many great, so many great accessories out there that you can do that with. You can do leopard shoes or leopard boots. I have a whole blog post if you're interested in trends that I can link in the notes below where you can just check out what is in this year and what you can easily add to your wardrobe. I have some styling tips in there as well. And the final step in the style goal section is to consider what you feel best in. I think it's really important to wear um, something that makes you feel amazing. I, you deserve it. Everybody deserves to feel really good. And I think clothing is a big part of how we can do that and how we can express ourselves. Um, and then consider something that you just really, really would love to have. Like that purse that you've been thinking about for three years or these shoes that you've always wanted. Dream big. I think that is good. Like we're going to consider budget in our next... <laughs> In, um, in a couple steps so we can pull back but I think it's important to dream big because that's super fun and maybe you can um, get something that you've always wanted. Okay and step four is to finally create that ultimate dream wish list. I've done mine through um, a software program called Adobe Illustrator because I like everything to look in a collage form. Um, if you have that capability you can do that too otherwise Pinterest is a really easy way to do it and then you can also cut out magazines old school and do something with your hands which is actually pretty therapeutic. Okay, and now we're on to the B word, which is budget. So this is obviously one of the most important parts of developing a fall wardrobe. No one wants to go broke looking good, but no one wants to go bro broke while looking good. So consider if you have a seasonal budget or if you have a monthly budget, and that is important when it comes to trying to get the items that you want. We can consider um, weather, etc., and I'll go into that more. But so have that, so have that number and then add up all the items that you want if you have ones in specific mind or um, make a little budget for each item that you have on there. Okay, so now that you have your list and now that you have your budget, it is time to make some cuts. So it is nice to just sit and stir on the list a little bit. Sometimes items just walk off of your list automatically when you're like, actually, I don't really need that or actually I already have something in my closet that um, looks like that and that functions the way that I would like it to. Or else you can sit with a friend or loved one and just like go over with them like someone who's practical <laughs> is always really helpful um, and then you can make cuts that way. And then finally um, consider um, your budget and consider the season. So when making your list you're going to prioritize it in just a minute but I have a monthly budget and so I consider what um, how to prioritize my list by what the weather's going to be. So right now I'm not going to, like I have a couple knits coming because it's Canada and honestly like it gets cold up here really quickly. But the, the things that are first on my priority are long sleeve tops, flats, and then after that would be knits and boots and something that just kind of goes along with the weather. So it's easy to prioritize when you um, consider um, elements like the weather. And then finally consider what you can get secondhand. There's some amazing secondhand stores out there. Some of my favorites are Style Encore, um, Plato's Closet, Value Village and Salvation Army. I don't get too thrift a lot because I don't have time and taking my kids shopping is a lot of work. But um, I found some really amazing gems out there and a lot of times it's better quality than what you can find in the mall. I found this one knit that is 100% wool and it is so beautiful and I got it for $4. <laughs> and I know that it would cost over $100 in the stores um, full price. Items that you can usually find secondhand are sweaters, usually in better quality than um, what's in the store currently. You can find jackets, especially jean jackets. Jean jackets are a really nice way to um, take your summer items into fall. It's a really good transitional piece. Trends again that come in and out. So for me, I've gotten a lot of basket bags. Basket bags from the summer have been a really big trend. And then leopard, like I said, is in and out of trends. So you'll, you'll be able to find that really easily in um, the secondhand stores. And now on to step seven where we can finalize our list so we can prioritize it from um, for weather and then we can take things off the list that you could definitely find secondhand and then that way you have a nice orderly list in order of priority um, considering your needs considering what you love considering your budget and considering what we can find secondhand and now on for my personal wish list i will go through the process that i just outlined so um, you can see where i got to where i did so i did a visual wish list um, I did it on Illustrator um, 
and and I have some like uh, items that I liked on Pinterest but I like to put it together so I definitely have a pink theme going on um, I'm really loving the pink that Cezanne has put out this season and items that I need are sweaters knits um, definitely I didn't get any last year um, until the spring when I discovered Cezanne so I need good quality knits I'm in Canada it snows five months of the year here, so it's something that I definitely need and will use any good quality versions of. And I also would love some feminine boots to go with a lot of my summer dresses. So by feminine, I mean um, I want something that is pointy, something that um, doesn't weigh me down. I'm 5'3", so I need things that are a bit more on the delicate side, but are still comfortable. So um, I ordered the Leah boot from Cezanne, so that's coming, I think, next week. So watch out for a Cezanne haul video. Um, and I have that in a couple colors coming, so we get to, I need your help deciding on the colors of that, but, so those are, so that's, uh, one thing I need for, um, my dresses. And then I need long sleeve tops, which I just did a, um, what new in Doen, so I got a bunch of new tops, including what I'm wearing and behind me, so I will link that above here, um, and you will also see that on my wish list. Um, something from Cezanne that's coming is the Piero and the Roxanne, so I'm really excited to try those shirts on. One is a silk blouse and one is a button-up blouse I have a Piero in another color so I know I love the style of it but we'll just have to see what the fabric is like and how it works within my um, existing wardrobe or my wish list and then I need a long sleeve casual dress that's a midi length and some jeans for the dress um, I'm not really sure I haven't seen anything at Cezanne I like yet Doan hasn't released their full fall line yet and um, I'm still waiting to see what Christy Dawn has I would like something that is long sleeves so that's a little bit more romantic but that is easy to wear around my kids, but also I can wear on a nice day out. So I had a lot of things on my original wish list. So before I made cuts, before I realized I had no money <laughs> for that um, for my budget, um, and that included some plaid pants from Madewell. Check um, the check pattern and plaid is uh, really in again. You'll see that in my blog post. So I was interested in that. Um, I was interested in the polka dot trend because I think that's pretty classic. Um, seashell earrings, seashell jewelry is making its way from summer into fall and I thought it was really um, romantic like I don't know being like a mermaid in the fall like a fall mermaid sounds really like a really cool idea to me uh, I would love some bags from Cezanne the Victor that is in the croc um, fabric it's not actually crocodile it's leather but it's printed to an embossed to me look like a crocodile um, pattern and then I also would love the large Nicole but I definitely can't afford both of those so um, I will show you my final wish list so my priority list, I need long sleeve tops first, which I've mostly got. I got the Luca, I have the Billy, and I got the Doan Thistle secondhand off of a secondhand site. Um, I still have some from spring, but they're getting a little, it's getting a little cold. I have the Harper here, which I really love, and Doan is apparently bringing back, so I could get that in another color. Um, I just love this top, and these are all tops that I wear around my children, so that's really important um, for me um, at, to make a purchase. Flats, flat season is really short around here. I usually go to boots pretty quickly, um, but I have my Doan uh, Mary Janes and I have my Everlane Day Flats, which I think will do well. I'm considering getting these in the black, but the Doan doesn't have my size right now, so that's something I have to look into, or if I can find something similar for a little bit cheaper. I got these at the flash sale that um, I did the video of, so I will link that below actually, because I already linked it up here. But I'm really happy to add these to my collection, and this is the perfect weather to add some flats. Um, a fall dress. I really like the Olivia from the um, from Cezanne. I really like, I think it's called Amelie. I'm not sure. I will link everything below. And then I also like their Clémence dress, but they're a little bit more formal. Um, I think out of all of those, I would get the Olivia, but I have to wait for, I want to see what they're going to come out with on the 23rd, which is, I think, when they're releasing their full fall. Um, line and then I also want to wait for Doan and then keep checking in on Christy Dawn but I might get one or two um, fall dresses that I can wear because again I really love that romantic look and I wore dresses all summer which I loved so um, I'm really looking forward to getting some beautiful fall dresses and then boots okay so Cezanne has this Leah boot apparently it's around three inches I thought it was a little bit shorter it doesn't look three inches tall but everyone I know who has them says they're super comfortable so I got them in the black studs and I got them in the Sienna studs. So if the Sienna, the Sienna boots, if I go with those ones, that kind of pulls my entire wardrobe into that pink um, theme that I was talking about because the Winnie 
and all of these other things I've gotten are pink and actually this has a little bit of pink in it so um, it will go with my wardrobe if those are the ones that I choose and just kind of pull me in more of a pink direction. Otherwise, the black ones I really love. I really want something, again, for my dresses, something that is a little bit um, high, has a little bit of a heel, and that can just, like, um, almost add a little bit of edge. I think that would, is a really interesting way to um, change up my summer light dresses, add, like, some leather, like my faux leather jacket. That's kind of a look I really like to do, too. And then another uh, boot that I really like, but I would have to wait for um, a sale. So that's another thing to consider your wish list. What's coming up for sales? Um, Black Friday, email people. So I took an item off of my wish list. It was this beautiful Joan cardigan, and then they told me it was $498. And I'm like, I can't afford that. So bye for now. Um, maybe if you turn up in a flash sale, but um, that's something I had to remove from my wish list because it wasn't a part of my budget. And then another thing that I would really love is the All Saints Lucy boot. I love how this looks. I love the pointed toe and I think that it looks feminine and I think it works well with dresses. They have it styled with dresses. I saw this in the stores last uh, spring, but it were all sold out and I think they're selling up quickly again. So I'd have to wait for it to come in stock and go on sale. So that might be something that I have to say goodbye to. And that is my wish list and wardrobe video. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, I think this is gonna help me stay organized. I hope it is helpful for you to stay organized. It's really confusing. Um, as you see all this beautiful stuff come into fall and I get so overwhelmed because fall is my favorite season It's my favorite season to dress so I want it all um, But I think this is gonna help me um, Not impulse buy and just stay organized and keep everything coordinated if you like this video Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't yet. This is really fun I have a lot of Cezanne attic friends on here and Doe and Darling friends on here and um, It's nice to connect with you in the comments below and on Instagram. Please um, give me a shout out there. So have a good day and I'll see you next time.